You have the power to wipe out the human race, and I have to destroy you. Oh, I see you guys are also doing a superhero against superhero movie. Well, 2016's gonna be the language! Anyway, Affleck, what made you jump ship? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, why aren't you wearing your red suit? What red suit? I, I only wear black. Or really, really dark gray. Well, I dare say I loved you as Daredevil. Wait, Tony, you like that Daredevil movie? Yeah, it was super. Wait, 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 are you trying to hijack our movie and promote your freaking movie? Yeah, let's all be civil here, guys. We don't need to have any more Marvel vs. DC fanboys going crazy. Plus, we can agree, the Netflix Daredevil is way better than the 2003 movie. Tell me, do you need to know where you get your Batman v Superman doll and Justice figures? Well, we can get them at BigBadToyStore.com. Links in the description. Oh, big kids. It's time to go. Uh, big kids, here's your big review. The Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Movie Masters Batman vs Superman 2 Pack San Diego Comic Con 2015 exclusive. Now when you buy this 2 pack it comes in a white shipper box that has the Batman v Superman logo Dawn of Justice. The packaging is the big selling point of this 2 pack. It comes in this nice window display box of Superman and Batman about to go at it. You can see in the background this rain effect like a scene straight out of the movie has the bat signal right there. It has the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice logo with a big old warning label on the try me button. Warning you want choking your Batman or Superman because the red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. There's also a speaker on the other side for the sound feature. The sides of the packaging have this very industrial look. The top of the box has the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice logo. While the back here also has the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice logo. But also says this problem emits flashing lights at 50 uh, 30 cycles per second includes three AA batteries. This was battery safe. The bottom is actually where you put the three AA batteries and it has the on and off switch. Now let's show off the very cool action feature. Let me show that off again in the dark. So here you can see that the bat signal lights up in the corner and lights up on Superman while the Superman logo lights up on Batman. Here's a more closer look at it with the bat signal and Superman over there. And then here's the Superman signal. The way the packaging is, I see a lot of collectors keeping this unboxed. And if you're wondering, taking these out of the box kind of damages the packaging. And if you were to try to re-put them in there after opening up the figures, they probably wouldn't stay in the same place the way that they're packaged. So I actually bought two to have one open and one to keep it packaged. So let's take a closer look at the figures. And here we got the Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Movie Masters, Batman, Superman, two pack out of the packaging. We don't get much in terms of accessories for these figures, but I do like the cloth capes and the sculpting is actually pretty nice and I really like the paint. So let's take a closer look at them. So let's take a look at Batfleck first. Now this figure is actually pretty nice and you can actually see a good likeness to Ben Affleck in there. The texturing on the costume might throw off. It's a very like scaly type of costume, especially in the cowl section. I think it's just to show that this costume is worn and it's been through hell. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I really do like the look of the new uh, Batman costumes. Very Dark Knight Returns and New 52 inspired, like with the big fat bat symbol right there. And yeah, you can see that there is definitely new tooling with this figure. There's nothing that seems reused from previous Movie Master figures. One thing I noticed, he has gold knuckles on this costume as well as his feet. And I really like the utility belt. It's very nice, really cool design. And one thing you can notice that these figures have cloth capes, which I'm always a super fan of cloth capes. Batman's uh, cape kind of like folds up a little bit more than I like to, but I still prefer cloth capes over plastic capes. It just looks better to me and uh, doesn't weigh down the figure. And yeah, so you can see wrinkles in the costume all over. I just really like the look of it a lot. And then the boots, and he has these gold tip boots. Cool, I guess. That's the only thing that throws me off the costume. But besides that, I really like the cowl with the short ears and it just looks really cool. Now for articulation, Batflick's head can fully rotate. It can only go up that much. It can't really look up and down that much and he just knocked over Superman, that's how badass he is. His arms can fully rotate, he can go in and out that much, rotate the bicep, bend at 90 degrees at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. He does have an ab crunch forward, but doesn't really go forward that much. It goes back only that much. He does have waist articulation, which is great. Legs go forward only that much, goes back, gaping crotch pits <laughs> right there, so they go in and out that much. He does rotate uh, right above the knee, and it bends at 90 degrees at the knee, and his ankles pivot forward and back, but he has 
no ankle pivot. Now the Superman figure definitely has a new head sculpt. It's very different from the ones we got it from the regular Man of Steel movie masters. I really do like the hair and the likeness to Henry Cavill is actually really good. I definitely see it. The costume seems to be pretty much identical to the Man of Steel movie masters. Just more metallic shimmery paint which I really like. I love paint on the red and the blue. Even this lighter blue underneath and the yellow has a nice super bud. <laughs> it looks like the same um, figure that we've gotten before. Uh, I can't find my old Man of Steel figures to compare it to but like I said this has a cloth cape. It doesn't have a wire in it which is fine. Yeah the sculpt down here looks really nice. For articulation Superman head can fully rotate. It can really look it can look up a little bit more than Batman and look down. Arms can fully rotate go in and out. Rotate the bicep bend at 90 degrees at the elbow. Rotate the wrist. Uh, no ab crunch actually. Uh, rotates at the waist. The legs can go forward and back. He has the gaping metal crotch uh, pits. Rotates at the upper part of the knee. Bends at the 90 degrees at the knees. Ankles can pivot forward and back. No ankle pivot. So the only accessory you do get is this Batman v Superman stand. Now what's cool about this you can make it into like one stand or you can kind of separate this. Then you can have a Batman symbol stand that has three pegs right there and a Superman stand that has just one peg. So very cool idea to make two stands into one if you so choose to. You destroyed my building and satellite. Time to shed some light on your destruction. <laughs> Oh, really? A bright light? You think that's gonna stop me? Well, two can play that game, Batman. Oh no, now it's red. Red's not a good color on me. I will never wear red again. Really? I thought you looked marvelous. Shut up. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Batman v Superman pack, they're actually taller than normal movie masters like the Dark Knight Rises Batman. Batman is actually taller at almost seven inches tall, where Superman is six, three quarters inches tall. Same size as the Marvel Legends, like Captain America from Age of Ultron. You can see almost as big as the neck of Michael Keaton Batman. Now I am super excited for the Batman v Superman. I cannot wait for the movie. And this uh, two-pack is actually a pretty cool two-pack. I think most collectors will buy this just to have the lights and sound effect, keep it in box. But if you wanted to open this up, the figure is actually pretty decent. They have some good paint and sculpting for 30 bucks. I think this is a really good two-pack that's only $15 per figure. And even though you're only getting a stand, the packaging alone I think pays for itself. And especially being a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, you can actually get this at Maddie collector a couple weeks so check out their website good to keep in package even if you don't want to actually open up the figures so i definitely recommend it for more check out my website at seanlongslong.com like me on facebook follow me on twitter instagram links in the description i'm sean long remember live long and live life tell me do you bleed you will <laughs> tell me did i just beat you in a snap no need to answer see that's who will win in batman v superman and that was for julie now let's go make man of steel 2 <laughs> Jacket sits way better than your Ant-Man suit. It shards all over yours. Hey, Charlie, hey, Charlie, run. What music is this?